What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinists, and welcome to EMO 2025. We are here at DMG Mori World, and you gotta grab your passport because we're gonna be going on a tour. Let's go. So the first thing you can do when you walk into the DMG Mori booth here is grab, of course, your passport. They have this broken up into areas this year based on industry. So there's an aerospace in, uh, area, there's a medical area, and as you go through, you can collect your stamps. We'll get some as we go. Let's take a look. So of course, if you saw our video from last time we were here, this place is massive. This entire hall is all DMG Mori, and they're calling it this year DMG Mori World. There are so many machines and so many automation solutions here that we're gonna have a hard time seeing them all, but we're gonna dig into it, we're gonna get as far as we can. So the first machine we have here is the NTX 500. Beautiful little machine. I know you guys have seen this a little bit, but this is actually a new version. And you can see it is a, it's a lathe with a five axis head in there. The other thing they do have is it's pa paired with an IMTR automation cell. And automation's really, really big for what we're showcasing this year. We're gonna see it all as we go, but let's keep going. There's so much to see here. Over here, we do have a uh, DMC 65 monoblock. Let's see if we can get a little closer to that one. This is a beautiful, beautiful machine. If you remember when we were in Fronten, that is where all the monoblocks are made. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Ah, beautiful five axis part getting done in there. And again, you can see this is paired with an automation cell. This is a Matrix WPH. Look at the size of the robot in there. I don't know what its material limit would be, but I'm sure it is heavy. You can see all the blocks that it's loading and unloading here. You can see there's pallets back in there as well. This thing's made to go for days. Over here, we have a DMC 55H twin. Beautiful, beautiful machine. I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at this earlier. This one's really cool because this actually has twin spindles. So instead of having one horizontal spindle, this one has two side by side. Two spindles, double the production. I don't know if we can get too close to that, but again, you can see that is paired with automation. So this is the kind of machine you set up on Friday, you come back Monday, and it still might be running. Let's see what they're running in there. Oh, very nice. They're running uh, two aluminum parts at a time in there right now. So you can see, instead of just making one, why not make two? Easy peasy. Down here, we have a DMU 125 dual block. Look at the size of this pH cell. pH cell 2000. You can see that's where your setup station is. And you can see that's actually got multiple shelves in there. And if you look at the size of the fixture on the top there, that thing's got some giant pallets it can change. Oh, they have a uh, porcupine cutter going in there. We're gonna have to come back and see if we can see that thing actually cutting later. As we go along, we're gonna kind of hook around, but let's keep going straight back for now. Over here, we have a DMU 20 linear. Ooh, with a pH 10. This thing is beautiful. So this is kind of the smaller size for five axis. You can see this would be really good for medical, really good for small defense parts, super, super accurate. And of course, with a pH cell, you can see, this one actually is a very nice way we can see here. You've got all your pallets lined up there. So you can see they're doing some dental work in there. You can see a little bliss component in there. And of course, at every machine, they do have a full setup of samples that have been machined on them. You can see there's some pretty crazy parts there for sure. We've got some peak, we've got some titanium, we've got some ink canal, everything good under the sun. Of course, if you know me, you know one of my favorite machines ever is the INH 63. It's the machine that comes with its own patio. Get a patio set, throw a chair on there, you're good to go. I don't know what demo they're running in there, but we are gonna check it out later. Over here, we have a monoblock DMC 65. So here at the show, they actually have eight world premiere machines launching this week here at the show. Crazy. I think they have 43 machines on the floor and I heard something like 30 something automation solutions. So whatever you could possibly want from DMG Mori, they have something here for you. You can see they're slinging a lot of coolant in that one right now. Over here, this is the automation area. This is a very, very cool area. We'll see if we can get a little closer. So this whole area over here is actually a cell. So you can see they actually have the little EV robots those things will move pallets around. They will take scrap out. They will basically run around your floor anywhere you want them to go and fully automate your factory. You know, we used to talk about automating your machine. Now we're talking about automating your entire facility. So very, very cool. You can see it actually has a, uh, a loading station that is on one of those EVs as well. 
This thing could run around, move parts from machine to machine, anything you need. Over here, we do have the third station. This is the uh, digital transformation area. So you can see over here, this is more software. This is more um, back-end type stuff. We have a DMU40 over here, another really nice little um, five-axis mill. Again, paired with an automation solution. We're gonna keep going over this way. I really wanted to show you this. So obviously, when we talk about DMG Mori, obviously you think about giant machines. You think about high, high production. They actually have a full section over at this show for job shops like probably you and me. So small to medium businesses, there is something for everybody here. And over here is kind of the job shop area. On the way, of course, we've got to point out the CLX 550TC. Beautiful, beautiful machine. I always say these machines are almost too pretty to run, but they do run quite well too. Look at the size of that. So there's our raw stock there. And you can see that's the finished part that's running. Talk about material removal. That thing's coming out about 10% of the total. Over here, we do have our job shop automa or our job shop area. So this whole section over here, ah, here we go. These are kind of the more, I have a job shop, I want a DMG Mori, what's a good fit? We have the NLX 2500-700, beautiful, beautiful military machine. Um, you can see this one does have a sub-spindle on it. So this is for, you wanna make a lot of parts, you wanna finish them, they come off done. Start it on this spindle, finish on the other, and away you go. The NLX are very, very nice machines. Everybody I know that has one absolutely loves them. Over here, we have a CLX 350. Again, don't let the footprint fool you. These can do some very, very large parts very, very efficiently. You can see they're running something that's about five inch diameter in there. Again, it does have a sub spindle. So we can do all our off center turning. We can do our passing between spindles. And over here, we have a DM, DMV 60. So this is a milling machine. You can see this one's uh, more of the three axis style. It also comes with the tooling load in on this side. Really, really cool feature of DMG Mori machines is that you can actually load all your tools and stage them while the machine's running. And you can see this one's got a giant tool changer in it. And as always, you can add on more, make it bigger, whatever you need. Let's hook back through the other side and they call this DMG Mori world for a reason. This place is huge. 10,000 square meters just in this building. Over here, we're getting into some of the really, really big machines. So this one over here, I know you guys are gonna love this. This is a DMF 308. This is a giant, giant machine. See if we can get a bit closer here. Yeah, look at the stuff they're running on this today. So you can see this is actually paired with an automation solution. Look at that, I bet you haven't seen that before. That's another one of those EVs. You can see that there's pallets on racks. So this thing can actually go get its own pallets from anywhere in your facility and bring them back. And if you look over here, what's running on this DM, uh, DMF 300, you can see the part over there actually in the staging area. Look at the size of that thing. They're running one over there as well. Beautiful, beautiful machine. And also when we're talking about big machines, you gotta check this one out. Look at the size of this lathe. This is an NTX 3000. Look at the size of this part. We've got our steady rest down here. What's really cool with these, so that's obviously a Capto connection. Since that's on a five axis style head, obviously you can do five axis milling, but with that style, you can actually move your turning tool to any angle you may want it and actually rotate it. So to get in all these little areas, that tool is getting wherever you need it to go. Giant, giant machine. I want three of them, I don't know about you. Over here we have a, what is this one? Oh, it's a giant robot attached to a CTX Gamma 2000 TC. Another big, big machine. Look at the size of the robots they're putting on these things. You'd have to have it. You can see it's doing some kind of uh, oil and gas or something component, but those are giant. I gotta estimate those parts probably weigh hundreds of pounds each when they're finished. So you're starting with something that weighs even more when it goes into the machine. Nuts. Over here, we have a DMV 200. Again, we have that automation cell that actually moves around your shop. Look at that. That's an automated door opening there. This is, I don't know if this is new for DMG Mori, but this is certainly new for me. I've never seen, seen a robot drive around your shop and go move parts between machines. Quite interesting stuff. Down here we have a DMV 110. So this is another milling machine. You can see they're running a big steel demo in here today. Wow, look at the size of that. 
Beautiful, beautiful machine. Again, because we're talking automation, this one has a pH cell attached as well. This is a pH twin. So this one, here's your setup station. You can see all our pallets in there. I don't know what the max weight it can hold is, but you can see there's some very large pallets and work pieces in there. And let's hook around. Again, sorry we're moving a little quick, guys, but there's so much to cover here that I want to make sure you see it all. We have our DMG Mori sign. These are actually filled with titanium chips. Made right here, fresh chips for all. Pretty cool stuff. Over here, we're just gonna finish out on our mobility section. So everything is kind of broken up by industry. So you can kind of look and say, hey, do you know what? I'm in mobility, I'm in aerospace. There's a space section over there, which we kind of bypass, but that's okay. Over here, we have our mobility section. So these are all parts for uh, bikes, cars, um, you know, mobility solutions. If it's stuff that moves, it gets done right here. So over here, we have a, another automation section. You can see they're running tours here all day. So if you're around, do stop by. You can get a guided tour and someone who knows a lot more than I can, I do, can talk to you about these machines. We've got a machine over there. That's the NZ Tray. A little more space over here at the NZ Duo, uh, Duo ATC. So again, these are those multiple, I believe it's a multiple head lathe. It's got a bar feeder attached over there. We'll come back, get somebody who knows a little bit more than I do to help us talk about this one. Over here, we do have the uh, more small diameter turning. Wow, it's actually not that small. There's a CTX 354A. You can see they're doing a real nice demo in there right now. You can see it's got uh, two tool turrets, top and bottom. Also has the two spindles, so it's gonna do milling, turning, just about anything you need it to do. Of course, paired with a bar feeder, so this is for high production, lights out production all day, all night. And let's see if we can thread through here real quick. Over here, we have our data and semiconductor. So again, another industry that they're really focusing on here. Again, everywhere you look, there is a DMG Mori machine with something going on in it. Over here, obviously, semiconductors, super, super important. We're trying to secure supply chains. A lot of that's gonna have to do with semiconductors. Over here, we have an ultrasonic 60 precision. These are super, super cool machines. These do a lot of work that you literally cannot do on another machine. I'll show you this uh, example over here. I saw this one running last time we were in Chicago, but this is actually a giant ring of quartz. So that's done on the ultrasonic 60 Evo linear. Not a lot of machines can even machine quartz, let alone make, let alone make a good part out of it. This is the kind of stuff you can do on these machines and it's only from DMG Mori. Of course, if you are here at the show, make sure you stop by. I don't think you can possibly miss DMG Mori World, but make sure you stop by, get a tour and check it all out. And if you can't make it, make sure you stay tuned as we continue our live coverage of EMO 2025. Thank you very much for joining, guys. You take care.